Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video, and today we are taking a close look at the upcoming sneaker releases of of April 19th, April 18th and 19th to be exact. But before we get into that, make sure you go give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram if you want to. Great way for you guys to connect with me. And also if you're ordering anything off Carmeloop, Plunder, or Brick Harbor, go hit that rep code REALRAY, and that will give you 20% off your order, so that is always awesome. Also, if you're feeling the content of this video, please hit that like button. It really goes a long way in uh, helping out my channel, and it lets me know what kind of videos you guys are enjoying so I can bring you more entertaining content. But uh, we are going to get straight into the first release of next weekend in this Kamikaze right here, the Easter Pack. This one is actually really nice. This is from Reebok, and I like this because it doesn't look like an Easter shoe. It looks like a teal shoe. So it can be worn other times of the year, and you don't look like a goof. I'm not a fan of those pastel colors most of the time, but this works. These will be 100 bucks if you want to grab them at your local Reebok account. For me, I'll have to see them in person before I make my decision, but these are pretty nice. Let me know if you want to pick these up. I know the Kamikaze 2 released a lot last year and hasn't released much since, but on to the next one in this question you see right here. I don't like this one at all. I'm honestly not sure if these are releasing in men's size or not. That's what I've heard. That's what East Bay's release calendar says. But uh, they, I don't like the pastel colors, as I said. I think it looks really off on a shoe, and it's hard to wear besides on Easter. So not a very, very wearable kick. Needless to say, I won't be going for these guys. But if you want to grab them, they'll be available at your Reebok accounts for uh, $125, I believe, is the price of these on April 18th. So let me know if you want to grab these ones as well. And we will get straight on to the Nike basketball, as you see right here, in the Easter pack, KD6, Kobe 9, Low Engineered Mesh, and the LeBron 11 Low. This is the first LeBron 11 Low that we've seen release, uh, second Kobe 9, and one of the last KD6s. The only one I like out of this is the Kobe 9, to be completely honest. I don't like the orange on the KD. I like the bunny camo. I think that's hilarious on it. I just think it's a cool shoe, a funny shoe. And I don't like the LeBron 11 silhouette at all, the LeBron 11 low, which is really disappointing because I love the high. But if you want to grab any of these guys, the price points will be 160 for the Kobe, 130 for the KD, and 170 for the LeBron. And they will be available at your Nike basketball accounts on Friday, April 18th. So let me know if you want to pick these guys up. I know lots of people feel Easter pack some years, some years not so much. But uh, I like the Kobe's this year and not much else past that. Let me know which ones you guys like. Moving on to Saturday, we have the Jordan release of the week in this awesome Jordan 11 low snakeskin. My friend wants to grab these for grad, so hopefully he'll be able to. I'm going to be helping him out on these, obviously trying to get them so he can wear them for his graduation, which is, you know, big deal, I guess. And uh, these are $150 if you want to grab them. I personally love these. They look so sick. All Jordan 11s look sick, in my opinion. But these just look really, really awesome. That snakeskin looks so cool. So these are $150 if you want to grab them. Should be pretty hard to get, personally, I think think because they sell out but they'll be available on Saturday April 19th last but not least we have this Yeezy foam as you see right here in well in the Yeezy colorway I guess foam posit pro has the swoosh you guys all know it you've seen it before I love this shoe it looks so sick I like the scale print all over it it's finally a foam posit that doesn't have stupid designs all over it uh, they've only been releasing stupid designs for the past year with the exception of the supreme uh, and the Dornbecker and the Oregon, which all happen to be in this picture, actually. But I did not like any of the other graphic foams. So these are 250 bucks, which is the inhibiting factor for me, because for me to pay 250 for a shoe, it has to be a shoe that I love. I'll have to see these in person. Not sure if I'll be able to, but if I see them in person and I'm feeling them, I might pick them up. So let me know how you guys feel about all these releases. That pretty much sums up what's releasing next weekend. And... Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Also, please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. And I'll see you guys later. So until next time, peace.